in the not too distant future Next Sunday, A.D. There was a guy named Joel Not too different from you or me He worked at Gizmonic Institute Just another face in a red jumpsuit He did a good job cleaning up the place But his boss didn't like him So they shot him in the space Connick's mm. girlfriend. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, look over here. More Christmas catalogs. L.L. Mm. Bean, Neiman mm -hmm. Marcus, Monkey Wards, Fisher Nuts, Edmund Scientific. Oh, Uncle Bob's Produce Ranch. Uh, for the traditional Yuletide cabbage. <laughs> right you are. Yeah. And for the elite little ones, the magical world of F.A.O. Schwartz. Parents, remember, kids always know best, so get them whatever they want. Look, a $900 taffeta octopus outfit. <gasps> Thanks, Dad. Oh, and look over here. A golf ball polager, only 400 bucks mm. at the Sharper Image. Glad tidings, glad tidings. You know, Crow, when I see these catalogs and their enchanting, suitable for framing covers, I'm reminded of the true joy of a New England Christmas. A gentle snow, all of us snuggled into a blanket as we race home to our cozy hearth and warm fire in our furry little Surrey. Hey, in fact, there it is. What? Uh, only $5,900 from Neiman Marcus. What? A furry little Surrey. Oh, let me see. <laughs> wow. You know, Tommy, that. when I see these catalogs, all I can see are 800,000 acres of decimated old growth forest. Oh, Crow, is that really the Christmas spirit? Commercial sign in 15 seconds. Hey, you guys, what are you doing? Oh, just looking at catalogs. Dreaming. Oh, wow. have you guys thought about what you want for Christmas? Yeah, meet me. I want a Ted Williams signature inflatable bathtub pillow. Oh, Gypsy. I want a pony. <laughs> oh, Gypsy, we don't have room on please, the ship for please. a pony. <laughs> no, can't do it. What about you, Crow? I want to decide who lives and who dies. Huh? Oh, I don't know. Commercial sign in five, so. four, three, two. Commercial sign now. We'll be right back. You're next. Beat nose. Hey. Earth to Joel, new Santa calling. Hey, what does that make me? Sleep in heavenly peace. Frank, it's time to reveal this week's invention exchange. And boy, is it ever gonna sting. Mm. Sting is right. The holiday season is here, the boss is on vacation, and we've gone crazy! Now I know from experience that nothing chafes a kid's hinder more than his request for a neat toy maligned into a safe and practical gift. Enter the wish squisher. Yeah, what you do is you take a really cool toy that any kid would dig, like these uh, video cassette cartridge games. You take it, stick it through the wish squisher, and it comes Voila. out as annoying and practical as any gift from Aunt Vida. Check it out, underoos that won't fit for two years. And what kid wouldn't love is a gift? More money than he or she will ever deserve. But then, suddenly, it starts to get weird. The rules change. You start to feel kind of bad. Yes. Voila. What was once the bright promise for the future becomes your four-year-old sister's raisin collection. And nothing, and I mean nothing, is more fun than racing slot cars, just like this one around the Christmas tree. But no! Nah! <laughs> What was once your first draft grade A choice from your parents as a gift becomes... Socks. Socks, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, what was once crummy, speedball, black and green, rayon encrusted, uncomfortable socks becomes... Run it through again, Frank. Okay, running it through a wish squisher. Yep, it becomes... A gift certificate for a stationery store. Joel? 
You know, Joel, I was wondering, do you think if they sent that really crummy gift through the machine again, it might turn into something neat? Hush, boy. You'll anger the overlords. Hello, sirs. Our invention exchange this week is based on our Yuletide musings about what would be on the island of misfit toys based on Rankin Bass's production of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Who Check ever it. heard of a Charlie in the box? Exactly. Check it out. Here's a new contribution. Uh, buttery sweet poster dolls. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Or yeah. play Patrick Swayze's Roadhouse board game. Become a highly paid Tai Chi wielding, philosophically alert bouncer like Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse. Shake the dice. Get in a potentially dangerous situation and use the catchphrase cards to lash out at your opponents with sayings like, It's my way or the highway. Hurts, don't it? And you're my new Saturday night thing. Yeah. Or you can have absolutely no fun whatsoever with this Easy Bake Foundry. The light bulb powered blast furnace turns inexpensive big iron you find around the house into high grade steel that's ready for market. Okay, and uh, what do you have for us, Gypsy? What? Oh, come on, open your mouth. Come on. Ah. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah, it got hairball. Oh. It's not. It's Gypsy's contribution to the new island of misfit toys, Mr. Mesh Potato Head. Oh, puke. Ugh. What do you think, sirs? Ours was better. Ooh. And now a deep 13 holiday presentation. Piazadora in Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Shield your eyes, Frank. Thank you. Oh, oh my God, God. 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 I ordered the fire marshal. There is no smoking in this theater. And kids don't miss Santa at Apache Plaza. Hey, hold on. Isn't there a, uh, a title to this movie? Yeah, I think it's either Santa Claus Conquers the Martians or Roadhouse. I'm not sure which. Oh, Roadhouse. Woo! Yeah, I bet uh, Patrick Swayze beats the crap out of all these people during the movie. <laughs> Thanks, to Big John Call is Santa Claus in old little town of Bethlehem. Mm. Oh, man, this is really, really cheap animation. Clutch Cargo was better than this. Yeah. Adapted from the novel by Eudora Welty. Costume designer? See you Costume. <laughs> hey, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's delug. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, it's okay. It seems like Santa's soul trade. Wow, that's a very lovely dress you're wearing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We got the Ohio players coming up next. Yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, there was a little nepotism in the Wright family mm -hmm. there, huh? <laughs> like father, like son. Ah, Martian Furniture by oh. Fritz of Mars. Toys by Marx. Oh, look, and Reverend Schuler at the Crystal Tower Cathedral fountain mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> oh, brown, great. They're running out of colors. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that was nice. This is the kookiest credit sequence since Mannequin. Okay, thank you for the song. Cha cha cha. Ooh, good timing. At this time, Station KID TV brings you the special event of the year. Big Brother is watching, kids. Television history. At this Kid very Brother moment, is watching, KID TV <laughs> has standing by a television crew at Santa Claus Workshop. Uh, and straighten, please. Seconds, straighten. Our special correspondent, Andy Henderson, Ooh. will bring you a person-to-person -person interview mm. with Santa Claus himself direct from oh, the North Pole. Oh, he's just being obtuse. Where at the moment, <laughs> the temperature is 91 degrees below zero. And now, uh, kids ID probably shouldn't TV sit so close to the TV. And don't slouch. Andy Henderson at the <laughs> North Pole. Hi, kids. This is Andy Henderson at the North Pole. Uh, no, you're not. You're Rip Taylor. Hold up here. <laughs> <laughs> From this spot, there's only one direction you can go. To hell. <laughs> Living up here is pretty rough. I don't see how Santa stands it. <laughs> hey, fur kills, we've Andy. Here, we've eaten nothing but frozen food. At least that's the way it is by the time we get it. <laughs> you know, elf tastes just like chicken. <laughs> and now, let's take a look-see into Santa's workshop. Oh, we'll wait here then. <laughs> yeah, please, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, it smells like a monkey house in here. Hello again. Got a long mic cord there. Boys and girls, 
It's just weeks before Christmas, and Santa and his helpers are working overtime to make sure that there's enough toys for the kids all over the world. All over the world! Santa's a pretty busy man, but I'm sure he'd like to say a few words to you kids. Oh, I don't know. Hello, Santa. Get the oh, hell out of my son. shop. Oh, Oh, hello, oh. boys and girls. <laughs> Smoking is good for you. <laughs> hey, oh, Andy, you caught me at a very busy time. Well, uh, <laughs> do you think you'll be ready by Christmas Eve? Well, we've never disappointed the kids yet. <laughs> Except for the poor ones. <laughs> oh, of course. Tell me, is it true that this year there's a rumor that you're going to use a rocket sled? No, sir. We're going out the good old-fashioned way. Guns are brazen. Prancer and dancer and thunder and... Blitzen and Vixen and Nixon. Uh, uh, yes, and what's in the Nixon, pipes, huh? No, I, get, uh, oh, I always can't son it. I get those names mixed up, but the kids know their names. Yeah, because they're sober. Ah, uh, there you are. Oh. It's we Barbara so Bush. You, and you stand here dawdling, talking to this visitor. Mr. Anderson, this is Mrs. Claus. Hands off. Uh, we're dear. We're on television. How do you do, Mr. Anderson? Ma'am. Now, I want you to go and finish painting those hobby horses. Television? Did you say we're on television? Ed Sullivan! Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, my hair's a mess. Hi, Hello, Mom. Oh. <laughs> when she thinks of the mass media, she touches herself. <laughs> we're having her committed. Come along, Mr. Anderson, and I'll show you some of the new toys we're turning on. Well, it looks like C. Everett Coop's children are employed here. Union meeting tonight, pass it on. Everything is a-okay, Santa. Good man. Blinky, sir. Winky is in charge of our space Blinky. department. Ah. Oh, uh, now here, here is the latest toy rocket. It runs on real rocket fuel. Really? Mm. I've been wondering, what is this strange little creature I'm over Batman. here? Oh, uh, Winky made that. Blinky, sir. That's his idea of a Martian. A Martian? <laughs> Wowie, wow, I'd hate to meet a creature like that on a dark night. Oh. hate to meet Blinky on a dark night. I wonder if there night. really are people on Mars. Well, who Makes knows? you think, don't it, huh? Well, if there are, I hope they have someone like you up there, Santa, to bring joy and good cheer to all the Martian children. Oh, oh you Anderson. flatter me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, oh. Winky. Christmas Eve is coming soon. Now, Mr. Anderson, I want to show you some more. <laughs> <laughs> Grappo! Meanwhile, at Oscar Wilde's house. Grappo, you lazy good for nothing, where are you? Tonight, I'm a space pirate. Permission to come aboard. Woohoo! Grappo. Grappo, wake up. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, get the spiders off, off, off me. Because I can't fake laugh anymore. <laughs> Stand up. Hey. Stand up. Stand up. And be counted. Oh, I'm sorry, Chief Key Marcer. Droppo, you are the laziest man on Mars. Why are you sleeping during working hours? Because I'm the laziest man on Mars. I'm sleeping, Chief. It's just that I haven't been able to sleep these last few nights. Hmm? He's I've been gone. drunk off his Martian so butt. So I was just practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. Well, I suggest you practice doing your work. Where's Lady Moma? Well, she went to the food pill center to get some new food pills. See, because it's haven't been Mars. Eating well. They're <laughs> not tight at all. Yeah. Oh, it's no wonder. They sit in front of the video set all day watching those ridiculous Earth programs. It confuses them. Especially Twin Peaks. Where are they? Yeah. Oh, and they're... Watching Earth programs. Uh, it's sweeps week. Ah. Open, Coco the Clown Room. Ooh. Say, Santa, what have we here? You know, P is a door and never got go. much taller now, than she is, is in this. Now she mm -hmm. walks, talks, cries, and she even sings. But she wants to direct. Almost like a real <laughs> live little girl. That she is, sir. That she is. All she needs is tender, loving care. And 20 Grandma, bucks worth of batteries. What is <laughs> I don't know, Gilmar. What is tender, loving care? I don't know either. Gilmar? Gilmar? I told you not to watch those silly Earth programs. Like firing now, go to sleep. Must we go to sleep now, Father? I want to see Santa Claus some more. I want to see more toys. No, go to sleep. Will you buy me a golden globe, then? Why, sure.
Well, she'll serve 12, and with a little Martian seasoning, she'll make a tempting main course. We need your advice, Chochim. Bipolaroid? Something is wrong with our children. On Saturn 3. not. They sleep not. They are not. Their only interest is watching meaningless Earth programs on the video. Are there any other oh, kind? Oh, <laughs> but I digress. What time of year is it now? It is the middle of September. Oh, time for a September no, fest. Oh, no. Not here. I mean on Earth. That guy looks like a troll doll. He does. Mm. Oh, yes. I had jello today. It is early December on Earth. Uh huh. Close to the time of the Christmas. Oh, uh, hello, Mars to Chochum. That explains <laughs> it. What is a Christmas? It's a Christian holiday it's ruined by commercialism? For great joy and peace on the planet Earth. I'm good. Look, we caught you at a bad time. And we'll come back. Children. It is also a time of anticipation. Hey, uh, just in case, where are your nitro pills? The arrival of Santa Claus. He's Howard Hughes. Oh. His gifts. Bah. <laughs> Nonsense. What has this to do with our children, Ancient One? We have no children on Mars. I have no son. They have children's bodies, but with adult minds. Oh, like Drew Barrymore. They mm -hmm. do not hmm. have a childhood. Hmm? I see this coming for centuries. Why didn't you tell us, Pops? They are born. Our electronic teaching machines are attached to their brains while they are in their cradles. Yeah. Information is fed into their minds in a constant stream. Look, you're breaking my heart, Gramps. Can you get on with it? They are adults. And they go through shoes like crazy. They've never played. They've never learned to have fun. Oh, he's fading fast. I know. No, they are rebelling. What do you advise? The children must be allowed to be children again. Hmm. They must learn to play. Mm -hmm. They must learn what it means to have fun. Everything I know I learned in we kindergarten. You need a Santa Claus on Mars. Yeah, and you need a sedative, old man. Diarrhea is like a storm raging inside you. Look, uh, you're a busy man. We'll come back. Ooh. Next show at 10.30. Hey, let's give it up for the old man. How about it? Yeah. Well, scratch the Chochum idea. So, you catch any of that? Santa Claus on Mars? I think it would go something well, like this. Santa Claus. There's only one Santa Claus, and he's on Earth. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I guess that takes care of that. Didn't I tell you it was a foolish idea to seek advice from that old man? This is a serious matter, Voldar. And desperate problems require desperate deeds. Dunder Chief. Earth has had Santa Claus long enough. We will bring him to Mars. I'm against it. Our children are fine the way they are. I don't want any Santa Claus bringing them toys and games. They'll start playing and laughing and running underfoot. They'll become mm. a nuisance. I've made my decision. We leave for Earth tonight. Pack your other mustache. Rigna, Lomas. Here we go. Young blood. Number Dipstick. One. Okay, thank you. You can uh, lose this mm -hmm. shot now. Scene's over. Mm -hmm. oh. This is better. Cricket lighter away. Cricket lighter. You know, if they cancel Battlestar Galactica, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, their ship runs on a Simon game. Mm -hmm. Stratego! You suck my battleship! Gentlemen, we can't all be the Honey Nut Cheerios, Honey Bee. Approaching projected Earth orbit. I know, I'm the one that steered us into it. Fire, portside rockets, number one and number ah. two. Portside rockets, number one and number two. Fire. Whoa, Whoa. lentils. Whew. Entering Earth orbit. All right, Boldar, now to find Santa Claus. All right. Turn on your magnoscope to third power. Hmm. 
Went over a city of some kind. The Big Apple. Des Moines? Oh. So that's what the Earth people call a city, eh? How primitive. Oh, everything's Look at better all those on Mars. Buildings above ground. Why, we could destroy that city with one blast of our curie. We've not come here to destroy anyone. My only purpose is to bring Santa Claus back to Mars. And maybe stop for an egg cream, Turn but that's it. Bar. Let's see if we can locate Santa Claus. He wears a red suit, mm -hmm. trimmed with white fur, and he has a long white beard. Wait a minute, you but just described Huggy Bear. Down there. Yeah. It's like looking for a speck of space dust in a comic's tail. Oh, good analogy. Wait a minute. I see him. I see Santa Claus. And he's kissing Mommy. <gasps> I see him, too. He's standing on the corner ringing a bell. No, he's not. He's standing near the entrance of a large building next to a large black kettle. He's standing <laughs> on the corner, Kima. He's... Wait a minute. I see another one. Ooh. Well, there are hundreds of Santa Clauses down there. Santa is within all of us. Of us. Oh. Just one. And with so many, they won't miss one. Prepare for a landing on next orbit. We interrupt our program with a special bulletin. I'm Dick An York. unidentified object has been spotted in orbit around the Earth. The Soviet Union denies it has launched any new space satellite. Like they could afford to. Our radar to. <laughs> stations are tracking the spaceship, or whatever it is. The U.S. Air Force has alerted all defense commands and retaliatory units. Stay tuned you know, I didn't know the bulletin. military had a study hall. Yep. Oh, Roger. Uh, paper towel rolls are on the patio table, over. But first, a tour of Paisley Park. Dear Hair Club for Men, I need help big time. Would you consider? And then a large-scale bowling pen is put into use. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, morning. morning. Wow, there's a ton of stock footage out there. Sir, Earth radar beams are bouncing off our ship. Well. It certainly took them long enough. Hold on. Turn on the radar shield. Hmm? This functioning of radar shield. Rigna, hmm. check the radar box. Rigna? Not the toy box, the radar box. Radar shield functioning. What was wrong, Rigna? A slight case of drop <laughs> What? 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 I've never been to Earth, so I thought I wanted to well, I may leave you there in place of Santa Claus. Now get below. I'll deal with you later. Oh, sorry, Mr. Martian Captain. Think, oh, what the hell? The controls and the... Uh, what, it's Sherwood Schwartz right this? That's our drop -o. He'll be back. <laughs> Prepare to land. We'll set down in that field near the lake. Rocket silencer is set. Rotor rockets number one and two. Fire! Whoa, lentils. Ooh. All this trouble over a fat little man in a red suit. Truman Capote? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here is another UFO bulletin. I'm high. The Defense <laughs> Department has just announced that the unidentified flying object has suddenly disappeared from our radar screen. So to hell they with it. The Speaking of disappearing, guys. Oh. In space, oh. or oh. It may be a spaceship <laughs> from some other planet which has the ability to nullify our radar beam. Because of the ominous situation, the president has ordered the Strategic Air Command into action. You know, I think it's kind of uh, hot to be wearing these scarves in oh, here. Yeah. Well, the scarves are must. You can't go caroling without a scarf. Catch your death. Man, you were like one of those kids I remember in uh, high school that used to sell the most candy bars for the marching band. Yeah, and you'd yeah. be president of the swing yeah, choir, too. Definitely. Uh, thanks, Joe Robinson. Thanks, Tom Servo. <laughs> what a kiss up this guy. Uh, okay, now, if you'll all look at your sheet music, uh, we can rehearse my new song. You wrote a Christmas song? Hey, there's no tradition like a new tradition. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's have a Patrick Swayze Christmas? Uh, yeah, yeah. Based on my favorite movie, Roadhouse. Come on, what the heck does Patrick Swayze have to do with Christmas? Hey, you keep Christmas in your way and let me keep it in mine, okay? <sighs> Uh, come on, sir. It seems like a nice enough sentiment. We can give it a shot. Come All on. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Twelve eight time. Uh, uh -huh. Key of A flat major. Oh, uh, good. Cambot, shoot him the tune. Uh, okay. You'll just have to stay with me, everybody. Okay. Uh, your parts are written out. Let's have a Patrick Swayze Christmas by Crow T Robot. <clears throat> Paul, let's have a Patrick Swayze, Swayze Christmas. Christmas. Right. <clears throat> Hit it, Cambot. Oh, oh, I start. I yeah. get it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay. Pick it up. <clears throat> Oh, 
Open up your heart and let the Patrick Swayze Christmas in. We'll gather at the roadhouse with our next of kin. And Santa can be our regular Saturday night thing. We'll decorate a bar stool and gather round and sing. Oh, let's have a Patrick Swayze Christmas this year. Or we'll tear your throat out and kick oh. you in the ear. Oh, hold it a sec. Yeah. Cam, but huh? stop it. Uh, Crow, I don't know if I think this is an appropriate sentiment anymore <laughs> for Christmas. Hey, what? Like a good action sequence don't belong at Christmas? Well, no, it's just that I've never heard of an action sequence in A Christmas Carol before. Yeah. Well, then grab hold of your socks and read on, Joel Robinson. Okay, okay. pick it up from measure 20, Kamba. <clears throat> <clears throat> Lovely intro, though. Very tasteful. Thank you. I like that. <clears throat> it's my way or the highway this Christmas at my bar. I'll have to smash your kneecaps if you bastards touch my car. I got the word that Santa has been stealing from the till. I think that that right jolly old elf better make out his will. Oh, let's have a Patrick Swayze Christmas one and all. And this can be the haziest. This can be the laziest. <laughs> this can be the swayziest Christmas of them all. How long before it becomes a standard? I think you got to come with me. Come on. Ah! <laughs> We'll be right back. Save a leg for me. <laughs> One Fire retro rockets number five and six. Got a million of them. Retro rockets. Five and six. Fire. Yep. Lentils. Lentils. Yep, pretty much. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, polka dots and moonbeams, sir. Uh, get that, would ya? Lower landing legs. I've got the landing legs. Real sophisticated space-like controls. Mm -hmm. I like that. He loves his work. Gosh, he's good at that thing. Landing legs lowered. Attention, crew. This is Kimar. Today's blue when light special. Landed, it... Regna, Voldar, and I will leave the ship to investigate. Stinky, Cargo, soft badge, clam dip. Tropo will stay on board on constant alert for immediate blast off. There. Yeah. Ooh, that was good. The Defense Department believes that the object spotted on uh, our radar Splendor in the leaves. Mm -hmm. been nothing more than a meteor which burned up when it entered our atmosphere. Professor Werner von Green, our leading mm -hmm. space expert, is was this still a Birdman film all of a sudden? A Martian spaceship. Stay tuned for further bulletins. Wish we had parents instead of this radio. Really? What does a Martian look like? I don't know. Nobody's ever seen one. What's Vietnam? I don't believe there are any Martians. You don't, huh? What would you do if a Martian look right up behind you? I scream. Hey, how ironic. I'm a victim of circumstance. Oh, stop me, Mom. Betty, I'm trying to sleep. I see a Martian. Hello. 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 <laughs> Come on, let's go home. Oh, like that with the hump? Who? Who are you? We're from Mars. Don't be afraid. We have children just like you on Only Mars. Only they're worse actors. What are those yeah. funny things sticking out of your head? Those are our antenna. Are you a television set? No, but I play one on TV. <laughs> Stupid question. Is this what you want to do to our children on Mars? Turn them into nincompoops like these? Hold your tongue, Voldar. <laughs> What's your name, little boy? Who's your Billy. daddy? Billy Foster, sir. And this is my sister, Betty. Perhaps you can help us, Billy. And Betty? We're looking for one of your Santa Clauses. There's only one Santa Claus. We've seen many of them in your cities. Oh, those are his helpers. There's only one real Santa Claus. 
and he's in his workshop up at the North Pole. That's what we came here to find out. Let's go. Oh, great, kid. You Come just on, fingered you Chris Kringle. Let me go. Where are you taking us? Leave him alone, Fulda. What? And leave them here to inform the authorities? He's right, Kimar. We better take them along with us to the North Pole. Very well. Come along. Ooh, Maynard Ferguson playing a ballad there. This morning, two children disappeared mysteriously from the vicinity of Welch Lake. The police have found no clues, and it seems as though Billy and Betty Foster have simply vanished into thin air. This appears to be a day when everything is vanishing into thin air. Including a few frames of the film. Their search yeah. for the missing children, the armed forces are continuing their search for the mysterious object from space. And now for your enjoyment, some suggestive scenes of jets refueling. All done in there? What do you think they call him, Drapo? Mm. All right, Billy and Betty. Oh, yeah. Nobody's oh. here. Come on in. Wally! Oh, yeah, I pretty much run this place. Now, I'm not supposed to bring you here. The chief's going to be awful mad if he finds us. Boy, way to let kids at home funny. I was in a real Martian spaceship. Oh, it's all about appearances, now, now, isn't it? don't touch anything. Now, here. That's the anti-gravity generator. And these are meaningless. Are the retro rockets. Oh. Does this light up? Hmm? Only when the radar waves are bouncing off our ship. Then we put up this radar screen, then nobody can find us in space. Boy, that's <laughs> pretty sharp. <laughs> yeah. What's this, Joppo? Oh, that's the elevator signal. That light starts flashing when somebody's coming up from the navigation deck. Hmm. Oh! Ah, oh, Liz Taylor's wedding ring. Yeah, it's the Hope Diamond. <laughs> Hoped it was real. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. Oh, oh Droppo, oh, you've done it again, you knuckle nut. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Oh, no. Uh, kids in the radar box. Oh, no. <laughs> drop him, Droppo. <laughs> Thinking of taking another nap in the radar box, Droppo? No, sir. As a matter of fact, I was just looking in there to remind myself never to hide in there again. <laughs> I bet. You know you're the Gilligan of your time, Droppo. Approaching North Pole. Whoa, that was suspenseful. Whew. I can see Santa Claus' workshop. Rosebud. <laughs> I prepare for landing. Pago. Set the rocket silences. Drabo, you stay aboard and guard those children. They must not leave the ship now. Now? Is the winter of our discontent made glow? What do you mean, Fulda? If we take them with us to Mars, Santa's disappearance will remain a mystery. No one on Earth will ever know that Santa Claus was kidnapped by Martians. <laughs> Do you realize what you just said? I don't think so. Perhaps you're right. Drabo. Drop sure. Get back to those children and don't let them out of your sight. Understand? Yes, sir, I understand. I I'll keep an eye on you. And now, Red in the silent spot. <laughs> oh, man. We've landed. I guess we'll have to take your word Secure for the it. ship. Lomas, you remain on guard and have the ship ready for immediate blast off. Because we've landed. Rigna, Hargo, Voldar, you'll accompany Skeeter, Buzz Bomb, Come. Ring Job. We'll activate Torg. Torg. Talk. Time for go to a bed. Holy little man like Santa Claus? We don't need talk. We won't take any chances. No. Come. Nothing can stop talk. What? That one's full figured. Hmm. Come on, Cindy. Uh, I mean, Skipper. Oh, heck, this shot has been in so many sitcoms. I'm confused. They came and to rob Las too. Vegas. Not if we can help it. We've got to get out of here and warn Santa. What's the talk? I don't know, but I'm not afraid of it. Oh, he's it's in denial. Come on. Wait, Betty. I forgot my testosterone. Now they can't watch Why Nick at night. Why did you do that? If this ship ever leaves Earth, we'll have the whole U.S. Space Force after them. Come on. Wait a minute. Now what? What's he going to do? Pull the distributor cap off? 
The kid's the MacGyver of his time. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. oh, Jacob's Ladder, The Lost Scenes. Oh, they shot this in Minnesota in October. Huh? Mm -hmm. That looked good. Uh, apparently, that spaceship's a mm. lot bigger on the inside. Like a TARDIS. Mm. Well, at least they're dressed for the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, what is it, about 91 below? Yeah. Well, I'd say this is uh, symbolic of the unconscious and the lower mm. nature. It's very Jungian, I'd say. Monkey Patrol in color. You know, these are like cheap versions of the Lost in Space sets. <laughs> Say, oh, that's him. Well, still. <laughs> Oscar Wilde, 2000. This action must take place swiftly. We can't afford to make any mistakes. Argo. You cover the rear of the workshop. Rigna, hold on. Ringworm, crankcase, lube job. I'll direct Torgs. Voldar isn't here. Rigna, go up and tell Voldar. Why, Voldar, you've been crying. Voldar, this is another one of your delaying tactics. You've been opposing me at every turn. Now I'm warning you, change your attitude. Ooh. I'm warning you, change your attitude. Chief? Yes, I am, and you will be too if you're not careful. Oh, but I am careful. Chief. Don't call me careful, chief! But I looked in at the children before I left the ship. You stay away from those children. That'll be easy to do. They've escaped. Voldar, if this is your idea of a joke, ask Droppo. I'm funny, just they ask him. Plans. At this very moment, they're on their way to Santa Claus to warn him. It's true, Kima. They're footprints. Hmm, child tracks, two, three days I'm old. Stop them. Those children mustn't reach Santa Claus. Follow them. I'll put Torg on the trail. I want those kids dead. I want Santa's house burned to the ground. Torg, come out of the spaceship. Torg, come out of the spaceship. Torg, don't make me come into that spaceship. Oh, Betty, have you ever read the book Alive? Billy, I can't run anymore. I'm cold. And I'm tired. And it's beginning to snow. It's beginning to look Wait, a lot like Betty, Christmas. Try. We've got to warn Santa. We can't stop now. They might catch us. Where is Santa? Sleeping it off. I don't know. His workshop must be somewhere around here. This is, all of a sudden, this is to build a fire. Ready, look. It's Bulldog. No, that's Creamhorn over there. He's the mean one. Yeah. The one who doesn't like us. Come oh, on. who wouldn't like you, princess? Yeah, please. Ice Station Zebra, the early years. It looks like Eric Hyden gone horribly wrong. Oh. Ah, watch this, I'm flipping them off. Shh. What is this, the end of The Shining? Oh, oh, you have man. got to be kidding me! <laughs> Susie Chapstick, the early years. Hey, check it out. There's away. a stupid guy in a goofy yeah. bird costume out here. Why did he run away? What's Vietnam? I don't know. Uh oh. It's Santa Bear! Quick in here where we can be cornered. Ah, same to you, squirt. I can see the headpiece draped over the body. What <laughs> kind of a pair? Ah, look, shouldn't you be in Holiday on Ice or something? Olu, 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 olu. Get it. Hmm, must be an adenoid problem. Don't move, Betty. I'll go take a look. I think the coast is... Oh, no, he 
his head wants to go about 75 feet. <laughs> it's all right now, Betty. Come on. I'm cold. And I'm feeling. I wish it wouldn't snow. That's the best thing that could happen. It'll cover our tracks and be hard for the Martians to find us. We'll freeze to death and be and little kidsicles. And it'll be to find Santa's workshop. I'm scared. We'll find it. Which but way is north? First, we'll make contact with the Norwegian underground. I see it. I see it. Santa's workshop. Oh, that's Where? the children's television right workshop. Right there. Wonder. See the light? Where? The lights are moving. <laughs> Isn't that the Jeopardy theme song done in a minor key? Betty, that's not Santa's house. That's my wife! Ba-boom! Thank you! I'm here! What is it? Well, it's a guy in a cardboard box with a coffee urn on his head. Hey, it's the robot that walked from Hawaii to Gilligan's Island. Huh? What a dopey looking robot, man. The polar bear was a lot better than me. <laughs> Both our table. It was after the apocalypse. No one was prepared for the robot holocaust. Ah, come here, you little ragamuffins. Ah! Now destroy them. Crush them. You were adopted. Them, Do as I say. Oh, I knew you'd try something like this. I set Torg's control so he will obey only me. Release him, Torg. Oil can. Oil you can. Very lucky. Now, don't try to escape again. You may not be so lucky next time. Fargo, take them back to the ship, lock them up, and rejoin us. You won't get away with this, you... you Martian! Santa's gonna cut you, man. Santa's a blade man, man! The danger grows with every minute. As does Let's my get love. Santa Claus and blast off. We'll surround the workshop and send Torg in to get Santa. Nobody is to be harmed unless they get in our way. Ah, uh, humbug. humbug. No one is to be harmed. What has happened to the great warriors of our planet? Mars used to be the planet of war. War? Huh. Mark what is it good for? Ma. Your softness will destroy us. Your downy softness. Santa Claus. Mm. Toys, games, laughing children. Well, we shall see. But for now, to your posts. VFW post 309. Torg, follow me. Walk this way. If I could walk that way, I wouldn't be wearing the box. A bing! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. What does that say? No shirt, no shoes, no service? <laughs> Smoke free, my Aunt Fanny. <laughs> Get in, Torg. Exterminate with extreme prejudice. Oh, right here. Oh. Knock, knock. <laughs> And this Santa Claus Conquers the Martians is really depressing. It yeah. makes it really feel like Christmas. Ho, ho, no. Ho. Uh, yeah, I feel jolly just like old St. Nick. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, Ricky, get me a scotch. I'm suffering Christmas depression. Hey, you guys. Joel, Joel, couldn't we see a more cheerful movie? Like maybe The Sorrow and the Pity? Oh, uh, well, I got that all covered, you guys. I, uh, I... Uh, trick Frank into sending up a bunch of movies up here, wow. and it's something we can watch after the experiment. Let's Great. see, we got uh, Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Oh, wow. are you sure that's not the fish who saved Pittsburgh? Yes, my little Huckleberry friend. We oh, also got right. Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. No. Oh, Jim Backus lives. <laughs> and uh, Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman! Chucky Vernon did not die in vain! Right, Woo -hmm. we've got uh, Rankin Bass's uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. All right, Bruno! Hey, 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 hey. Uh, he's not dead. Oh, sorry, bro. Yeah, and then we've got uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, boy, I love that one. Especially uh, the part where they eat all those Dolly Madison cakes. You know, uh, cuckoo, zingers, Oh, uh, Wait a second. Uh, wait, a, wait a minute. Th those were the commercials. Oh. It, actually, without the Dolly Madison commercials, the entire show is about nine minutes long. Okay. Oh, uh, we got a oh, few others here. We've got uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Wow, really great. Yeah, I love that one. Boy. Yeah, oh, well, don't. Don't get too excited. It's the lame uh, Marlo Thomas version uh, here. We also got uh, 
Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah, oh, right. Uh, right, right. No, yeah, no, it's the uh, David Hartman one. Oh, oh, on you well, we us. got a few others here, though, that's kind of going to the bottom of the bag here, kind of some low-budget ones. Cool. The Christmas that totally ruled. It's uh, about a curmudgeon old man that learns the true meaning of Christmas. Fresh we have idea. The Christmas that wasn't that bad, which is about a curmudgeon old woman who learns the true meaning of Christmas. Sorry. And then there's... The Christmas that really kicked ass, which is about a curmudgeon old man oh. and a curmudgeon old woman that learns the true meaning oh, of Christmas. Well, that was oh, 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 now we got to come back and watch this. Oh, Sorry, we just waxed. No My spike! <laughs> You're the biggest boy I've ever seen. I could use a toy like you. And very well made. Nice too. ash can. <laughs> By the great dog star, Santa's treating him like a toy. Well, he treats everyone like that. Get him, Tor. Grab him. He's become a toy. Wigna, we'll have to get Santa ourselves. Come on, Voldar. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> What have we here? More toys? <laughs> Those are Martians. Santa Claus, you're coming with us. You're no, coming to town. You can't take him now. It's too near Christmas. Quiet, you. But. Oh, he stopped him short. <laughs> we don't want to hurt you, Santa Claus, so come along quietly. How are you going to hurt him with a hairdryer? Hey, lawn jackie. <laughs> Just kidding. Why? Why did you have to do that to my helper? It's harmless. It'll wear off in a short while. It's just a whammo air blaster. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Now, you come with us. We need you on Mars. No, no. You moved. Hmm. Are you sure this is harmless? Oh, I never saw such lazy people standing around like statues. There's work to be done. Let's get to it. The Twilight Zone. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, me, oh. M Down by the oh, bayou. Mrs. Claus is going to be very angry about this. She's going to hit take me him, with Tork. a frying pan. Torg, take him. Obey my command. Forget it, Kima. He's not house trained. Rigna was right. He's nothing but a toy now. Best to leave him here. Believe me, I had nothing whatsoever to do about this. Oh, that's what you always say when you're drinking with you know, your friends. Dear, I can't recall a time when you were so silent for so long. Let's go, old man. Old man, take a look at my elf. I'm a lot like you. Woo! Next week on Barnaby Jones, Mrs. Claus of Death. Huh? Village Voice, Santa's outing? What? Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Santa Claus has positively identified the kidnappers as Martians. Never in the history of mankind have the nations of the world reacted with such unanimity and cooperation. Tonight, the lights will burn until dawn in the United Nations building, as the leaders of the world map a course of action. Give sanctions more time. And at Cape Kennedy, our correspondent interviewed Werner von Green. The man in I'm charge innocent. Of I was only following up. Oh. Mr. Van Green, what is the space agency doing about this? Well, we have mobilized all the men and equipment in our Starshot project. What is that, the Groucho And we have rushed our there? astronauts <laughs> into an intensive yeah, program for the final phase shadow, of their training. Boom, shadow, now our boom, Starshot shadow, ship is supposed to undergo six months of test flights. But we are going to forget about the testing and go after those Martian monkeys. <laughs> Isn't that risky? It would not be difficult, mein Führer. But every one of our astronauts is begging for the chance to go after the Martians. <laughs> Who wouldn't give everything to bring Santa back to our children? Oh, me, oh, me. over okay. here. Hi, I'm Bonnie and NASA. Before this decade is out, we will bring Santa back from Mars. Remember this one? I said launch, not launch. Our own space mix. Yeah. <laughs> Capricorn One will return after this. Da -da 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 so it um just keeps going up like that. Yep. Huh? yep. Up. Mm -hmm. Neat. Fat bald men are quickly mobilized. 
and that bow. So really that it just really just yep. kind of yeah, keeps Pretty much what it does there. Mm -hmm. Just keeps up onward and upward like yep. that. Oh, three stars by her name. Earth girls are easy. Earth hasn't reacted yet. No radar beams being bounced off our ship. Looks like we made a clean getaway. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> Here I sit broken. <laughs> Which one of you clowns oh, dropped that? He's having the time of his life. He's such a funny little man. Why, I've only been with him for five minutes, and he has me laughing just like an earthling. <laughs> What's soft and round, and, and you put it on a stick, and, and you toast it in a fire. An elf? A, and it's green. Oh, a dead elf. I don't know what. A Martian mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh. You just heard that? Jeez. That's what you're all becoming. Martian mellows. Soft. Absorbent. Weak. That old man is a menace. Yeah. And it was a very foggy Christmas Eve. So we were 69. Well, I, I was stationed in Dom Penn. Charlie had us pinned down their way. The only thing kept right me going was Laotian gold we got in Saigon. Well, <laughs> I tell you, it was the biggest chimney I'd ever been in. And then suddenly, 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 suddenly I realized it wasn't a chimney at all. It was the smokestack of the Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Santa, you're just about as funny as a train wreck. Well, don't you think that was funny? Yes, Santa. It's just that we're Norwegian. Uh, well, why don't you laugh? Gee, Santa, it's all our fault. We told them where to find you. Oh, boulder dash in a fiddle dee dee. Whoa, Billy language, boy. Santa, language. Everybody knows where Santa lives. Besides, I've always wanted to visit Mars. Who? Huh? <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are going to be angry. You think that's something? I can just see Mrs. Claus now. Christmas coming, and I'm not there. She'll have a fit. Yeah, the elves have learned how to handle her, though. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, me. By the bio. Oh, my. Come and get it. Dinner time. <laughs> Here's Droppo. If I can't cheer you up, Droppo can. He always makes me laugh. <laughs> well, you'll have a wonderful dinner tonight. Oh, there's soup and beef stew and chocolate ice cream. Not and spam? Mm. I'm not hungry. <gasps> Come on, Billy. Ooh. Mm. Well, is it all right if I have your chocolate ice cream? Sure. Oh, I just love chocolate ice cream. You know, that drop will place it a little <laughs> broader than Larry Storch. Yep, yep, yep. What a pig he is. Gee, Mars must be a terrible place to live. Some chocolate ice cream. Pills for dinner. <laughs> what are we, Judy Garland? I suppose if a Martian has a headache, he doesn't take pills. He takes chocolate ice cream. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not too funny, Santa. You're getting a light. Oh, dear, oh, dear. You've been a great audience. Came off. Look at this. That small blip is not an asteroid. It's a spaceship, and it's on our tail. It's getting closer. Impossible, Rigna. They couldn't have spotted us. We have our radar shield on. I know that, sir, but they are gaming on us. Is it possible Earth has a secret device that can penetrate our radar shield? They have a secret device. And his name is Billy Foster. Billy Foster I is you the secret device. Are dangerous. They'll destroy us if we allow them. Oh, adjust your sash, I Carl. Allow them. Oh, no, he's going to sing. <laughs> I think we underestimate the resourcefulness of these Earth people. I sure hope that's pudding. Very clever of the boy. Make the repairs, Rigna. I'll take evasive action. Hmm. Time for some fun. <laughs> well, Zunk. oh, and how is Santa and the little Earthling? Why, it must be tiresome cooped up in this little room. Yeah, but it's only eighteen dollars a so, night. How would you like to see the rest of the ship? Wait, you're you. not fooling me. You don't like us. You're mean. Oh, come on now. That's not true. Well... Why, Santa makes everyone feel good. Even me. I don't trust you. No, no, Billy boy. Grease him, Santa. That's not the Christmas spirit. Uh, I'm Jewish, Why, of Santa. Of course, Boldar. We'd love to take the grand tour. Follow my lead, Billy. Oh, I'm back in heat. I want to be alone with Santa. <laughs> oh, nice take to the camera. Thank you. What a clown. Oh, that must be the laundry chute over there. Everything's in English, right? This room is called... Same to you, Woodleg. Right. Sure. This is where you come.
on when you're ready to go out in space. It's airtight. You put on your spacesuit and go out through that door. So if you wanted to when kill you someone, you'd send them out. <laughs> and they pump air back into the room through there. When it reaches the pressure of the rest of the ship, mm. you can take your spacesuit off. Smart this kid, I reflate all of a sudden. Where's the control that opens the door, sir? Not here. That's in the control deck. You see, once you pull that switch, the warning bell sounds, and in 60 seconds, that door opens. That's to give a space and a chance to make a final checkup on their equipment. Mm -hmm. There's no air out in space. If that door were open now, it will pull all the air out of this room and us with it. You mm. certainly know a great deal about space travel, sir. I like you. That's you why I'm going to kill you last. Maybe sooner than that. <laughs> I'm gone. Presto. Ba boom. Santa, that clock stopped. 60 seconds. That must be the door timer. Have you two ever seen a grown man scream? Santa's going to whimper like a whip pup. Oh, I don't think so. He probably just stepped off for a moment. You're living in denial, He's Santa. Not. Wake up and I smell the coffee. Baldor. He's not like Kira and the others. I don't like him. I'm worried, Santa. No, no, children. Let's not get excited. Help! Help! Now, what would MacGyver do? This is great. This is going to be great. Watch. <laughs> It's Valdor! He's going to open the space door! Help, Billy, please, now you're embarrassing me! This is my time. I feel good about me. Yeah. Come on! I admire the plucky kid. Really thinks on his feet. A real booster. Stella! We'll die a horrible, asphyxiated death. Uh, where did you say this leads to, Billy? Seven. Mississippi. Six. Mississippi. Five. Mississippi. Connecticut. Four. Noonan. Massachusetts. Three. Miss. Two. Ding. One. Murder. Zero. Huh? Uh, oh. Who's in the airlock? No one. Now. <gasps> What's going on, Voldar? Chief, Sam and the children are missing. What? I love you. It'll never work! Drifting around in space. Along with the rest of the space junk. My mother was junk. Don't talk like that! Da 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 pow! Da 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 boom! Da 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 pow! Da da zing! Da da oof! Da 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 choke! Oh, he's fighting the cameraman now. No. Ah. Now we're in trouble. You wish you were floating around out there in space. <laughs> ah, Mr. Claus, you have a nasty habit of surviving. Santa Claus, you're all right. I, I thought you would... You well, would... when Voldar accidentally left us in the airlock and then came up here and accidentally threw the door switch, we knew we had to get out of there in a hurry, or that would be the end of us. And, uh, accidentally, of course. <laughs> so he crawled out through the air duct. <laughs> the air duct. But the air duct is just a little thing with the deal in the hub. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking to Santa Claus, son? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, now you wouldn't want me to tell my secret, would you? Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, poor man. He's bleeding He's from the ears. Too just bad. Like someone who's seen a ghost. <laughs> 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 Get my inhaler and my nitro. Meanwhile, on the Salyut 7 space station. It's the Brunswick Bowling Ball Planet. Begin landing operation. Firing retro rockets. One and two. Five. Oh, lentils. Yeah. Good guess. Mm -hmm. Lower landing legs. I said, don't call me legs. Kevin, this is no time Big to guy. use the Nordic Every track. Come on, man. Ship. Up and lower the ladder. You and Hargo get Voldar out of the brig and take him to the council room. You'll stand trial immediately. All right, Chief. Don't call me Chief. We've landed. You'll have to take my word for it. Hatch open. Or in hatch. hatch. Ladder down. Ladder? Power off. Ship secure. 
Nice under rules. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a Tokyo punk. To oh, it's the guy from Deliverance. Oh. Open so why are they wearing abdominals? Uh, Merry Christmas, Baldock. All right, on your feet, come on. Mm -hmm. uh, drop them. Oh, I was handing me food pills through the bars, and he grabbed my... Shut up, oh, you boy. love it. Team off. Come when I call quickly. my captain, Team I touch off. myself. Yes, Regner. Baldock has escaped. What? He's gone. That can only mean trouble. Put a constant guard on Santa and the Earth Children. Bodar will be back. In Dial M for Martian. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I'll be out in a minute, excuse me. Previously on Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Here in Betty Crocker's test kitchen. I'll never smile. Father, is Father here yet? No, Bomar. I'll call you the moment he arrives. Is Drapo coming back too? Yes, Germa. Now go back to your studies. Go play with your Golden Globe Award that we bought for you. Da 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 da. No, shh, no, no. Oh, Kimo. Kimo is the savings place. Headbutt. Headbutt. Are you alone? No. Well. Earthlings, Billy and Betty. One of each flavor. Welcome to our home. Headbutt. 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 someone else, too. Come on. Come on in. But you may have to grease the door for him to get through. <laughs> the big old hog. <laughs> Lady Beaumont, I'm not accustomed to entering people's homes through the door, but you have no chimney. Breaking and entering, that's <laughs> my Welcome, racket. Santa Claus. We hope you'll make the children on Mars very happy. I'll try, dear lady. But I get I'll it per try. diem. Where are they? <laughs> well, we'll start with my youngsters. How are they, Momar? The same. Quiet, remote, and very unhappy. They're inside studying. They've been well, reading the bell jar. Well, Santa, say hello to them. And I'm sure these children would like to meet them. I'll tell them you're here. Why over Party five Dad's five is a fine square. actor. Do Sinbad is funny. Lake Edwards makes Mars a really good film. Traveling along Vector A through the You are powerful. You can sell. Of 12 megatrons. Father! Father, we missed you! <laughs> I missed you, too. I'm fine, Dimitri. Children, You're fine. We're both fine. I brought some Good to be fine. from Earth. Will you come in, please, children? And sign in, please. Billy and Betty, Pardon? Mrs. Bomar and Gamma. Mm -hmm. Hi. Wait, where's that thing been? There's nothing in it. What are you giving me? My hand to shake. <laughs> I love that. Ah, it's getting uncomfortable oh, you're now. Ten. <laughs> I'm ten too, and Grandma's eight. So is my sister. So is your sister, and your mother swims out the troop ships. Wants to see you. His name is B.F. Skinner. He's going to put you kids in a box. <laughs> Dad, get him out of here! <laughs> Santa left his medication at home. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> please! Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> 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 What is that? An outtake from TV's bloopers and practical jokes? You know, it's the little things that can clue you into drug abuse. They're laughing. Bomar and Gamma, too. They've never laughed before. Come. Come on, let's go catch the end of his act. He does this killer drive-up window again. <laughs> He'll be the first to die. Ah, cave dweller. Uh, no. Hold on. Hiding in a dirty cave like a speckled Mars worm. Oh, Kima will get this all finally. That's easy. Let's get rid of the little fat friend in the red suit. Taffy Apple Boss? <laughs> ah. Oh, that's suicide. What do you mean, whack Santa? What are you, nuts? I'm a constant guard. 
We couldn't get within 20 feet of them without What is this, a soliloquy all of a sudden? Whoa! But I have other plans. Who's playing that? Someone's approaching the cave. The oh. king approaches. It's Big Jim. All right. Jim? It's Big Jim McClay. All right, Jim. Enter. Enter? What happened to come in? What'd you find out? The toy shop is operating full blast. No one suspects me. So I came down and took a good long look. It's nothing like the one on Earth. Good night, no Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. Kim Morris built a mechanized assembly line for the old man. Great Durrani. Toys are rolling off by the second. This planet will be flooded with toys. Well, folks, that was my bit. I hope you've you know, enjoyed it. They got one little toy. It's the cutest thing. It's just a coil spring. Ooh, ooh Muldoon, do you and mind? It goes down steps all by itself. Just like Grandma. I was tempted to steal one. Hmm? I'd like to fool around with the thing. I'm not going to sleep The decay is setting in. It's even affecting you. Soon all of Martians will be blithering idiots. Soon? What do you mean no soon? No time to lose. We must go into action. Now, we cannot eliminate Santa Claus, but we can discredit him. Make him a laughingstock through our laws. Come on. Now, listen. You Careful. get down to rights on the phone. I'll get a camera. Workshop closes at 10 o'clock. The guards will be in Kima's house. All right, stop, bud. Give us a post, and I'll roll right. Got it? Okay. Hmm? Wait a minute, it's Warhol's factory. Oh, laundry baskets. Kids will go nuts for them. Everything okay? Gee, God, everything's great. Wait a minute, does Mars have any child labor laws? I don't think so. Hundreds of thousands of letters from all over Mars. Yeah, we got all their visa card numbers, too. <laughs> Ah, war toys. Good. Teaches them early to hate and kill. Sweet. Two dolls just ready. Okay, bear down, push. <laughs> bear down, push. Three baseball bats. Three baseball bats. And two hard-boiled eggs. Mm. Make that three hard-boiled eggs. Oh, those must be for the LAPD. Mm. <laughs> Look at me. Santa Claus, the great toy maker. Stuck on a planet with Pressing no booze. Buttons. That's automation for you. Technology. Sweet. <laughs> well, that's enough for today. Santa makes a poignant observation on today's society. Mm -hmm. Let's close up shut. We can still make it to happy hour. Pretty nice, eh? Lady Muma made it for me. Can I try it on Santa? <laughs> Don't be silly, Droppo. This would never fit you. Why, well, you have to fatten up first. <laughs> just, uh, just laugh at everything he says. He's easily provoked. <laughs> oh, great. That. Oh, shoot. For a second, I had hope. Children, as they say on earth, another day, another dollar. Whoa, hello, Santa. Sounds like this. How are you feeling today? Tired? No, no, I'm not tired. But my finger is. Oh, sis, it's been no. pressing buttons oh, all Christmas. day long. Oh. <laughs> that well, Santa's one weird I think mama jam. Hmm? Put my Santa. finger to bed. <laughs> Dear children, here's your milk. You can play for half an hour, and then you'll have to go to bed. Daddy, may we watch the Earth program? Certainly, dear, but only for half an hour. The Clarence Thomas hearings are on. Billy. Barty. Betty? Buckley? Don't you want to watch the Earth program? Oh, no, sir. We're not interested in Earth programs. They suck. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Me, too. Just a moment. Good night, Mr. Kimar. Good night, Lady Mama. Just a moment, children. Don't ever step on my lines. Are you feeling well? Oh, we feel fine, sir. Good night. Good night. Has someone been mistreating you? Hmm? Oh, no, sir. You and Lady and Mama have just been swelled to us. Well, Good night. it's our wages, sir. You know, with what the cost of living is, and a guy can hardly make ends meet. Well, could it be, Mama? They're behaving the way our children used to behave. Can't you tell, Kima? They're homesick. They miss their parents, their friends. Nintendo, sugar. Kima, you've got to send those children back. Impossible. I don't have the receipt. Oh, my God, he's playing dress-up. No! Santa says oh, I gotta no. fatten up.
Walton Milk. Yellow Moon, Pink Hearts, Green Clover, Chocolate Cake, Pennies, Dexies, mm. X. You know, guys, most Lift. people take pills to lose mm. weight. With whipped cream. And other delights. Oh, that's good pill. I don't suppose there's any chance uh, this guy's going to end up under the wheels of a train, is there? Mm. No, I didn't think so. That takes too long. Ooh. He's simple, isn't he? Yes. Simple but Very stupid, simple. I'd say. Hey, wait, that's brilliant. Santas all over the world are going to do that now. I almost feel like I shouldn't be watching. Mm -hmm. What's with the Mr. Rogers music? Mm. <clears throat> uh, so, Lady oh. Momar made Santa an extra beard? Now I'm Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! You, you get the ho, idea. Ho, ho. Yeah. My finger isn't tired. Oh. Look out, now. I think I'll go down to the workshop and make some more go toys. Puke. You know, ho, somewhere ho, there's ho. a warrant with his Dinkle name on it. I'm sure of it. Okay, everybody got their Christmas essays ready? Yeah, ready. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Who wants to go first? Oh, 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 You want to go first? Oh, 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 Crow, you want to go first, buddy? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Christmas oratorial. Oh, wait. Um, a uh, Christmas editorial by Crow T. Robot. <clears throat> Don't you just get on with it for crying out. Sorry, I was with... <clears throat> All right, uh, okay. Uh, Christmas editorial by Croti Robot. Uh, I know I already said that. Um, okay, what's the big deal with Santa's elves anyway? What happens to all those dumb wooden um, trains and horses and cars? No ever kid gets them. Um, these are the kind of toys Grandma drags out at Christmas to decorate the house, which smells like her feet no matter how much essence of Yuletide light bulb ring oil she uses. Uh, but I digress. Um, uh, uh, no, these are the real misfit toys. They end up in Marshall Fields window displays and FAO Schwartz catalogs or in overpriced little gift shops in Vermont and Door County, Wisconsin. <clears throat> um, my message is for the elves. <clears throat> Gentlemen, what is the problem? Why don't we ever see you in front of a circuit board lording microchips into a Sega vision with your little wooden hammers? Elf labor short? The good people of Macau are eager to take your prototypes and turn them into a hundred thousand knockoffs. Elves and Santa take an example from the Keeblers. Now there are some fairies who know how to market. In closing, uh, step out of the legend days, fellas, and join the century of the Pacific. Oh, and uh, Merry Christmas. Yay! The end. Yay! Good yeah. job, Pro. Uh, okay, uh, who's next, Tom? Uh, my turn. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Doe. <clears throat> Okay, my essay is entitled A Child's Christmas in Space. Uh, let me set the mood here. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. There. Ah. It's quiet in the cold of our own little orbit, starless and Bible black. And as I look down on the big blue bean we would call home, I think it's so near, yet... Oh, I wish on that star, and I hope that in a little snow-covered house with a warm hearth and a loving family, maybe some kid is looking up tonight and wishing upon us. <gasps> Oh, and how I hope sweet Santa will fly by tonight, because if he does, I'm going to reach right out and hug that big guy. Oh, for the sound of hooves against the steel hull of the ship. Oh, to see the rosy face of Santa in the portal offering me a Coke and a smile. Of course, his face would be rosy because it's a vacuum out there. I mean, Santa's heart would explode, but he won't feel it because his capillaries in his brain would pop like little Tom? firecrackers due to the blood boiling away in his veins like a pudding in a copper. Hey. Oh, the humanity! Zero. Oh, his jolly old belly would start bubbling like a roasted Tom? marshmallow, eyes Whoa. bulging and popping up. And the reindeer, oh, the reindeer! Tom? He's floating like holiday hey. floats and their turn exploding Tom? in a hail of blood and entrails. Prancer, boom! Dancer, uh, Tom! Tom. Hey. Hey. hey! 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 Tom! Take it easy. Santa's gonna be okay, buddy. You sure? Yeah, give him a little credit, okay? Oh, what a relief. All right, now it's my Kill turn. Me. I want to do my reading on uh, Christmas past. Long, long past? past? Well, uh, um, yeah, long America's past, oh. you know. Okay, I'm talking about the 70s Christmas office party. Back when a fully stocked bar was considered standard office furniture and office parties were like something out of a Playboy cartoon. Huh. 
why the deaths would be overflowing with every kind of hard liquor, why there were gallons of scotch, bourbon, vodka, gin, not to mention Galliano, Amaretto, Midori, Rife, German crockpot gin, you name it, and sexism was blatant. Boy, oh boy, you'd find salesmen groping secretaries in the mailroom, keys would be exchanged, and although this was Christmas, Jesus was nowhere to be seen. Jeez, Joel, you thought I was bad. Yeah. yeah. Are we really this cynical about Christmas? Well, yeah. well, maybe Gypsy has a Christmas word for everybody. Hey. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, everybody. We got commercial sign. Sounds like the music from the ghost and Mr. Chicken. There it is. Oh, there's the caution controls. What is this, a Rich Brothers film? Oh, it's, no, it's uh, better. <laughs> Actually, it's Joseph Biden, Howard Metzeron, and Ted Kennedy like you've never seen them before. Well, that is good comedy. That's fun. Shit. All the light. Shake them up. These toys don't let us be the same again. Shh. Don't hate this. Someone's coming. Quick, down. Something stupid this way comes. Uh, Ed Grimley's here. Take him out now. What a break. It's Santa Claus. And he's loaded. No guards. Meanwhile, back at the gum disease caverns. All right, Santa, sing. Now stay put, my fat little friend. Hey, Santa, <laughs> how do you like this toy? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. My friend asked you a question. Answer him. It's quiet, Chip. Put on the nuclear curtain. Then put on the carpenters. I love them. Tomorrow marks the end of Operation Santa Claus. <laughs> and Mars returns to normal. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dropo. Dropo, you rascal, where are you? Topo? Dropo. Oh, Dropo. Oh. Drop him. Good morning, dear. Kima, I can't find Droppo. Hey, what? No headbutt this morning? Honeymoon What's over? What's he up to now? Good morning. Good yeah, morning, Lady Moma. Oh, oh, my extra suit. The one you made for me is missing. And that I'm extra sure beard, I too. I home from the toy shop last night. That's two things that are missing. Your suit and Droppo. What? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that explains it. When you find my missing suit, You'll find Droppo inside it. He's out someplace playing Santa Claus. <laughs> Take care of him. <laughs> oh, no, no. Plug him between no, the eyes no, for no, me, will you? Have his fun. He's probably at the toy shop making toys. He's probably he at the bar. <laughs> Children, will you please hurry? Breakfast is ready. Yes, yes. If you don't hurry, your breakfast will get cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think Santa slipped off the roof. <laughs> oh, irony. <laughs> Rappo, we're here. Here's Johnny. Oh, playing hide and seek, eh? All <laughs> right, Rappo, here we come, ready or not. This is not a game, Santa. He could be seriously hurt. Everything's a joke with you. He's not here, Santa. That's funny. Oh, well, he'll turn up. Let's get started. <laughs> hey, Okay, let's go. One teddy bear and one doll. And a submachine gun. And one doll. <laughs> oh, that's right, uh, reindeer breath. Santa, stop the machine. Look, the doll has a teddy bear pet and the teddy bear has a doll No pet. problem, we'll give them to dyslexic kids. <laughs> well, let's try it again. 
What's next, Betty? One baseball bat. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, they made a Prince Vortex racket. Mm -hmm. uh, baseball mm -hmm. tennis. Uh, why, mm -hmm. uh, this will never do. We'll have it's to sell this stuff to Whammo. <laughs> oh, dear. What else, Betty? A toy train. A toy train. Looks like well, Santa's well, doing well, sound well, for yes. Is that he? Yes. And a fetal pig. No, no, stop the machine. Why? It's growing hair and Why, teeth. Look at that thing. Thank you, Santa. Uh, this never ah. happened when we made toys by hand. Oh, everything's better by hand. Go to bed, old man. Something very strange is happening here. Something is wrong on Saturn 3. I think you'd better call your father. A weenie. <laughs> that's, that's my little joke. Father. Yes, father, son? this is Boma. Yes, Boma. Father, little we're in the toy shop. Droppo isn't here. And there's something wrong with the toy machine, too. I'll be right over. Yeehaw. Time to go. Sim, wake up. Boom. I still think you're making a mistake. It's too dangerous walking right into the enemy camp. Kimaro's men wouldn't dare lay a finger on us. Not while we're keeping Santa Claus a hostage. Now, if we're not back in three hours, you know what to do. Go ahead and order right, without Sim. us. Open the nuclear curtain. Either these nuclear curtains go or I do. Hey, it's the bugaloos. Hmm. Uh oh. Just a word of warning. If you got any big ideas, forget them. If you walk through that nuclear curtain, you'll be disintegrated like that. Nuclear? Nuclear. Sabotage. Kazuntite. Somebody switched all the wiring. Droppo's gone. Your suit is missing. Gates has been confirmed. Now this machine's been sabotaged. Put them all together, it spells Voldar. He was here. Or mother. And he thought Droppo was me. He's got Droppo. <laughs> and I'm going to find him. Poor Droppo. Poor Droppo's dead. Poor Droppo. Surprised to see us. You're under arrest, Voldar. <laughs> He's a great audience. What can you say? Mm -hmm. Stop playing with toys. Put it away, Kima. Air blaster. We have a weapon that's much more potent than that. As you may know, we are holding Santa Claus a hostage. One false move, and your little ho 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 man will be destroyed. Who's the All right, what do you want, Voldar? These are our terms. Big mosquito. First, Sorry. destroy the toy machine. Second, we will release Santa Claus if you promise to send him and the Earthlings back to their planet. Third, no more joy through toys nonsense on Mars. And D, we well, want all political prisoners released. Well, you win. Boo. Are you sure you have Santa Claus? You know we have him. You mean you had him? You know, if Charlie Callis and Jamie Farr had a son... How did he know? get out of the cage? Shit, I'm an idiot! <laughs> How did he get here so, so fast? Uh, Santa Claus has powers that you don't know about. All right, arms up. Hmm? Rigna, Hargo, Lomas, report. This is Rigna, Kima. Hargo and Lomas are with me. What about Good. Popo and Kaka? I've got Voldar and Stovo. Well, what about Rigna and the Slow? the room of the toy shop. Rigna, you come here and take them off my hands. I want Hargo and Lomas to look for a man named Shim. And Tell them to search the caves along the transverse canal. Right, Kima. All right, you two. In there. Why is he tap dancing? Is he Gregory Hines? Oh, he's a trooper. All right, you might as well relax. You're going to be here for a while. Sit down. Oh, man, the janitor's closet. Smells like someone's been tanning leather. Ooh. I want my MTV. We've secretly replaced the light bulbs with Folgers crystals. Let's see what happens. Here at GE, we bring Droppo to light. How many Droppos does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> Where are you going? Ho, ho, ho! Can't you say anything else but ho, ho, ho? No, ho, no, no! Ho. Ho. <laughs> if you're thinking of leaving, Santa, 
Let me remind you, once you hit that nuclear curtain, nuclear. there won't even be a whisker nuclear. left. Jumpin' Jehoshaphat! Hmm. What are you gonna do with us? We're going water We're skiing. Stand trial before the council. Hmm. I don't think you'll be causing any more trouble. Ah, the old ah. manic ski disarm. <laughs> <laughs> what was a water ski doing there? Let's see here. Is it... Well, now, I ah. think that should do it. Big Cheap boy. Martian crap. Close the door, son. Now, I think we need a little red paint, and you'll find it in the storeroom. Next Shut to the Santa. fairy dust. Yeah. Yeah, but don't look in the duffel bag. Ooh, the storeroom. Wait a minute. He's on a collision course with wackiness. Boo! Santa Claus for good. And smash that machine. Santa! Santa! Boba and another man are in the storeroom, and they're coming to get you. With oh, they and are, Fufu. are they? Yeah. Well, maybe they'd like to have some fun with our toys, and we'll see hey. that they do. Won't we, kids? Oh, no. Blow dry and a rinse, old man. Oh, -ho, we meet again, eh? Yes. I don't know how you escape Shim. But you won't escape me. You're through. Goldar, why don't you uh, relax? You're going to relax permanently. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good idea. Risk the kids' lives, Santa. <laughs> oh, hilarity, guys. Not since the pie fight scene in the Great Race. Uh, not since the mudslide scene in McClintock. Not since the wagon race scene in the Hallelujah Trail. Uh, not since the chess playing scene in the Seventh Seal. Not since the orgy scene in Caligula. Oh, huh? <laughs> Hilarity, anyway. Santa's doing his Ali. Floating like a butterfly. <laughs> I protest. I don't blame you. Oh, this is great. Okay, uh, teach your kids to throw dangerous toys around. Yeah. Hmm? Again, a protest. Kids, this is hell. Sort of like the Twilight Zone. Yeah, well, that's... It's daycare in Beirut. It's muddy. <laughs> Good blocking. This scene was well thought out. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like the final scene in Kill Dozer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're your own grandpa, too. You know, I don't see how any kid could figure this movie out. I'm confused. Give me that air blaster. Oh, boy, Chief. I'm glad to see you. All right, inside, Stobel. All together now with the one and All the right, two. Uh, I said ceasefire. <laughs> you know, drug abuse is a horrible yeah. thing, isn't it? Take them away. They've had a rough day. Oh, he's being Ryan ironic. Don't forget to read them their Carmen Miranda rights. Ho, 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 everybody! Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> You don't need me here, Kima. You've got a wonderful Santa Claus of your own. Yeah. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Ah, uh, shut up. It's just not that funny. <laughs> Goodbye, Billy. Headbutt. Goodbye. Goodbye, Betty, dear. Headbutt. Hmm. You take Don't care of yourself. your natural parents, kids. Bye. I've got something for you, Billy. Gee, thanks. And it's ticking. Goodbye. Bye. Gee, we had fun. We're going to miss you. Here's my Where's golden glove. We'll ever meet again. My... I'm sure you will, children. 
Thank you, Santa, for bringing happiness to the children of Mars. Again. And the Christmas spirit to all of us. Sure. From the bottom of my heart. I say bite I me. Wish you <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. And yours, <laughs> the very best of everything. Oh, oh no, oh, oh, no. Please, you never mind. Please, please. Oh, you wait. <laughs> hey, it's the round John Virgin. Oh, oh, there goes his appendix. His uh, water bill. Isn't that how we do it? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Now, if we hurry, we can get back in time for Christmas Eve. Yay! Shall we get Shall going? Shall we stuff that goofy guy in a duffel bag? Yay! Yay! Goodbye, dear friend. What is this, a long goodbye? Oh, Just leave! Get out of here! Gee. Oh, oh City <laughs> Wait, take some pancakes with you. They'll die in the vacuum. They'll burn on re-entry. <laughs> sorry, it is Santa Claus, isn't it? No, I'm sorry. Hang out in leather bars. Haul <laughs> out the cocktail sauce. Would you stop it? Just come on. Santa Claus killed in Vietnam. Filmed in Christmas too. card vision. You guys are doing it too. No, we're not. What we're doing is totally different than what you're hey, doing. Hey, look, it's Jake Gleason and he's moaning us. See, that is totally different. It's oh. totally different. Okay, let me, let me try one here. Let me wind up. You know, you can almost see the ozone layer disappearing. Oh, he just doesn't get it, does he? No. Would you stop what? that? What? What? I'm a whore you. I do not see what you are going hey, on about. Hey, gummy bears. Merry do, Christmas, do, 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 do. guys. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas crew. Oh, Merry Christmas, Christmas crew. Can we get out of here now, please? We'll miss this. Oh, that's okay. Uh, like anybody cares who Hargo Hooray is. Hooray for James K. Hill. Oh, good. Lomas Shim was Joe Ellick. by Jim Bishop. Lomas was Jim Bishop. Santa's helper stunk. Do, 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 do. All out the Roman gym. Oh. You got words yeah. for us. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Christmas Day. day you'll wake, wake up and say, Hooray for Santa Patrick Swayze. <laughs> S-A-T-A-N-T-A. Hooray for Santa Claus. <laughs> Is it over now? Yeah. Oh, jeez. You know, they spell it Santa Claus, but you I'm say it Santa Claus. Ah, this already. whole Christmas has been one ugly. Angels, we have heard. Softly sipping old champagne. <laughs> oh, Oreos, oh, 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 baby, inexpensive cake. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, stuck in time. Stuck in time. Yeah, all right. Stuck in time. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. We're going to do our stockings, and then it's time for bed, okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, here we Who's go. First? Stock All right, me. this first one's for Gypsy. Uh -huh. And look oh. at what we got in there. Oh, Check it out. Oh. oh, I don't know. I just knew. Okay, oh, now you know. here's... Hey. Thank, hey. thank you, go, Gypsy. Jill. And here's Tom's. All right. Oh, what are that out here. Oh, hey. look at all the yeah. Well, he got a lot of stuff in his stocking. Yeah, he did. Isn't that great, Crow? Yeah, really, oh, yeah, really great. Thank okay, you, and Santa. here's... Thank you, Santa. Here's Crow's. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, well, that was lucky. I, What'd you get, Crow? What'd you get? Um, well, uh, my stocking's got a breathable cotton panel. That's right. Oh, well, and okay. then this... Oh, you That's guys. That's real. Uh, uh, hey, you found it. Joel, open it. Where did you find this? Oh, Gypsy found it in the laundry chute. Oh, okay. Oh, it. Okay, I okay. Okay. Anyway, oh, we got a letter here, everybody. Okay. Big surprise, Let's put huh? that up on Still Store Cambot. Good. Okay. Dear Crow, Tom Servo, and Gypsy. Yay! Greetings and pleasantries from the great NW. As the Christmas season begins, familiar thoughts and feelings abound. 
the slight chill in the air, which you can almost see reflecting on years past. Family togetherness gains more import on one's list of priorities, and society begins to once again plug into retail commercialism and capitalism in search of the perfect Yuletide gifts. Your creation is the only TV program I watch or used to watch. My husband here and I are experiencing a physical separation now as I'm in the Coast Guard stationed in Seattle. MST3K brings us closer somehow in this... Is this too schlocky? I can, I can spout out sophomore drivel like nobody's beeswax. My apologies. Thank you. Thank you, MST3K, for making us laugh at love again. Graciously yours, Jennifer Jacobs. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Joe. Merry Christmas, sirs. Frank, I, I can't wait. I want you to open your gift now. Great idea, Pete. As a matter of fact, uh, I picked you up a little something myself. Uh, for me? Oh, you you shouldn't have. Oh, it's Frank. nothing, really. Oh, Frank, no, it's the thought that counts. I, I know that you think that I'm probably just a cold-hearted jerk without an ounce of self-respect for myself or anyone else, but on the other hand... Merry Christmas, Dr. Forrester. Merry Christmas, Frank. Oh, Frank, what a lovely watch band. This must have set you back a pretty penny. Well, actually, I uh, didn't have any money, so I took the liberty of hawking your Rolex and... <laughs> You to pay for that. I... Hawked my Rolex. <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts. Open your gift. Oh boy, I bet it's a book. I bet it's a book. Yes, it is a book, Frank. It's it's called Final Exit. I've been stealing your plasma at night, so I didn't have to spend any of my own money. <laughs> oh, Henry. Well, until next time, Bumpus. God bless us, everyone. Ow. Uh... Ha, 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 ha.